Oh, oh, starting a video. Say hi, Mrs. Otter. Hi, Mrs. Otter. How are you? She got me chocolate. This is not sponsored by chocolate, but we're going to look at the Bitcoin price. She said today that she wants to learn how to trade. Should we teach Mrs. Otter how to trade? Yes, I am. I am recording. Yes, it's going to make a video right now. Off the top, we got Bitcoin here and we're going to make a video. So can you turn off that light so I don't get the glimmer in the background? Oh, look at us all oh, looking all dapper. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to the Otter Gang. What's up? Alex O Crypto here making a video right after work, right after our shower. You know, as a carpenter, we're trading these charts. We're looking at these charts. We were looking at the swing failure pattern. We were like, it's going to dump. And guess what? It came up to our target and it dumped. Okay, so now we are on our way down. Is this a consolidation? What are we looking for in the next couple of days? What can we expect from the Bitcoin price? Well, we are looking at the CME Fed watch tool here. An 88% chance of a hike coming at you July 26th. Okay, this was at 70% a couple of weeks ago and it has pumped up. Okay, so Jerome Pow Pow is going to... You know, you know, he's he, he's just doing his thing. You know, when are we going to come out of this? Is recession looming? What's going on? Bitcoin's strong up 80 percent over the year to date. I mean, this is great stuff. But look, we got the FOMC minutes coming our way. Manufacturing, you know, not a big deal. Didn't affect the market too much. But this employment rate, I believe, and this non-farm payrolls, I believe will have much more significant effects. So look for Thursday and Friday to be a little bit more volatile. Happy 4th of July to every single one of my American followers slash subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. If you do subscribe, we're here with the updates, with the free Discord, giving it all away for free. My trading strategies and everything about Alex O Crypto is here for you guys for free and much love to every single one of you. And thank you guys for your continued support. Okay, continued support is very much appreciated. Now, let's go into the daily. We were looking at the weekly. Okay, the weekly is looking like it's going to curl over. Now, one thing I am watching before we go into the daily is on the weekly that we have gotten a higher high here so we can look for a bearish divergence okay we can look for this this is something that's a long-term outlook we're gonna wait to see what happens with this lovely lady hump here okay but if we do get the lovely lady hump here and we get a beautiful bearish divergence that could mean down downside for us okay so we need to be very aware of that but look very much over over overbought okay overbought so let's jump into the two day the daily and let's look we're looking for the red dot on the two day it has not yet printed okay it isn't even there it's just curling over and we're very much oversold okay we are flagging out everybody's aware of this flag everybody and their sisters brothers friends family all that stuff because bitcoin's live right we got a beautiful BlackRock ETF in the looming and everybody's bullish and, and looking for Bitcoin. And then there's some influencers say the bull runs back on and all these things like this. So we're just trading the ranges, trying to accumulate the bags for the inevitable bull runs 2024, 2025, hopefully. So let's look at the daily. We had a green dot. It printed. Then we got a red dot. OK, very, very much mixed signals. We are a very key level of support right now at 30,000. We want to stay above here. We can trickle down. And in my suggestion, if we do trickle down, we look for to fill up our bags a little bit more. We did fill up our bags down here at 25,000. We were shouting this from the rooftops. Fill up your bags, fill up your bags, fill up your bags. And we did. And it shot up and we made some profits. Okay, very good. Now, we we're also saying look for shorts at the top of this range because it came up and it hit that right beautifully into the box of resistance and it got dumped on. Okay, so we're giving these setups. We have this 30,000. 400 level that we have on our charts that we gave in the last video So make sure to add that to your charts so you guys are prepared for absolutely anything Okay, we're looking for this to continue its way down You can simply see it came up it wicked up and it has made lower highs all the way down So we're looking for it to come to this level why this level well because that's a key level of support for this little little flag and if we lose it we could be looking for much lower prices now Right now, we're bouncing off this point of control. Yes, beautiful Fibonacci, simple Fibonacci. You pull it from the swing low to the swing high here, and you can see that we bounced off this golden pocket here, okay? But look for us to challenge it yet again. And if we do, we punch through here, and it looks like we'll be heading for the value area low 
or somewhere in between in that level to me where the volume ends is around 30,400. So that's where we look for a bounce, if any. Okay, so let's be prepared. Let's wait for these news things to get out and let's be patient and let's execute our trades just like we were looking for trades up here and up here. If we took the trade in this box, we are up a nice amount of percentage because Bitcoin is moving, baby. We should just be happy as traders that Bitcoin is moving. Even though it's in a very short, small range, there's plenty of trades to go around. So make sure that you're hitting that like button and taking the trades and, you know, paying yourself because there's profits to be made. Much love to every single one of you. Okay, so going back to the daily green dot, red dot okay it hasn't printed yet this red dot hasn't printed yet we got 17 hours left okay so as we flip through we got more confirmations let's go over to the 12 hour you can see that we've come up red dot and we are starting to curl over even stochastic here on the market cipher has turned red we're looking for this beautiful money flow to peak and to come downwards okay alongside this momentum wave alongside with the stochastics if we see all three of these signs you better believe we're coming down and we're going to challenge that 30,400 level so let's be prepared for that my friends let's be prepared you know we don't always have to be in a trade but let's make a plan let's make a strategy and let's execute that's what we're about here practice good risk management and a healthy mindset and we can look to extract profits over on the eight hour here we have a confirmed red dot we are heading down on the rsi and yet to peak on the money flow now remember the money flow is a longer term indicator so once we start to see this trickle down it's at 29 right now we're going to look for it to come down from this 30 mark and head lower okay vwap is below the zero line which is healthy right but this could bounce back up. You know, VWAP is very much sporadic in its sense, but it is more of a short-term indication. So you can see VWAP has been crisscrossing here ever since this range. So we're gonna look for the VWAP to stay below the zero line here and continue its way sideways, okay? On the four hour, we have confirmed that we are challenging the zero line. You can see that the money flow has come out, okay? The money flow has come out and we are challenging the zero line. Very important, the zero line. If money flow does get below here, look for much lower prices, okay? And the lower prices, if we simply look, is around 29,000. You can see that we have the fixed range volume profile tool here. Now let's get rid of it and let's do another one because you know price action changes and we get more data on the chart. So you can see here that we are looking at this 29.5 area, but most likely 29,200. This would be my area of where I'd be looking. We have lots of wicks in this area. We have lots of confirmation in this area of bounces okay so we're going to be looking at this area if we do lose this area this would be a beautiful beautiful area in order for us to bounce 29.4 29.2 okay somewhere within this vicinity we'll look for a little bit of a dumpola which would be healthy because look at the massive pump and then a continuation to the upside because we're looking for 35,000. now if you're unaware of our higher targets let's look over here let's go into the daily let's pull up our beautiful bullish weekly chart and we can zoom out actually to the weekly and we can show you guys simply very very simply that if we pull up this chart we have targets okay let's get rid of all these other targets that we have on the screen and we have beautiful targets here for you guys so make sure to add these to your chart so you know that there will be a reaction if we ever get up to these areas which we are bullish in the long term so we do hope to get up to these levels but make sure to add them you know we have our golden pocket last volume major volume up here at 41,000 and then our last range golden pocket volume so let's be aware of these levels to the upside but also in the short term, let's be prepared for anything, right? Let's be prepared for anything. Getting back into the nitty gritty of this four hour and jumping back in. So yes, we have that area below us here at 29.4 that we're looking at for a possible bounce. We got one before. You can see we had this massive wick from Jerome Powell's, I'm gonna hike it two more times news where he dropped down and it bounced back up, okay? So little areas like this, we're looking for those bounces, okay? So let's be prepared, let's practice that good risk management and be kind to yourself if you're feeling a little bit of FOMO if you're feeling a little bit of angst you know maybe it's time to sit on your hands and not trade and maybe take a deep breath give the kids a hug give your friends a hug tell them you love them and you know hope for the best hope for prices to come down but also protect your 
protect your mental state and be kind to yourself because you're worth it and we love you here. So thank you guys so much for your love, your support. We'll be in the Discord if you need anything. Just ask a question. I'm always checking on it. So thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be safe. Be legendary. Much love.